for my AutoCAD file. And if we want to just confirm things, um, if I go back to my AutoCAD file and just measure one of these lines, and it says the distance is uh, 1792 units. So I go back to um, digital project just to kind of confirm and use the measure tool. And this way, um, I know that I'm in the right units. Okay, so 1792, it matches. So, so that, that um, the reason that those, those two matches, because remember, I saved out the DXF in inches. Um, and the other thing is that if, if you find that this, this file is coming in too small or too big, the issue may, you may be having is um, the, the import units. So if you go to Tools, Options, you should find um, under... Uh, under compatibility, DXF, that, um, so this is, this is the settings for, for importing a, a DXF file. And you'll see that the unit of a file is set to inches. So this unit matches the uh, unit that we exported from AutoCAD. So based on the fact those two are, are the same, uh, the file came in at the proper scale. So I already had that set, so it, it came in. Um, you'll also see that, um, that these, these uh, lines all have, it looks like the colors uh, that were in the AutoCAD file are, are now uh, match each other. And also, if we were to look at, say, this line here and notice that um, it's that color, and it's also layer, in this case, it's layer 88. So if we go back to um, our digital project file, I can, uh, can right-click that line and look at the properties. And it's going to tell me that it also is on layer 88. So it's, it's saved to that color information and the layer information from the AutoCAD file. Um, so, so there's a very reliable transfer between, between one to the other. Um, also, these, uh, these lines and arcs are then now native, um, they're basically native uh, digital project files. So if I were to, to take any one of these, these lines, I could... Um, I could add constraints to it um, if I was uh, if I wanted to zoom in here. Looks like we have a couple extra lines there. But see, I can take this now, and this is a this is an editable arc. And uh, if I wanted to, I could I could edit this file. Now, generally, when we're bringing or we're kind of transferring files from one to another, we we, um, we want to keep the information as it was originally. Um, I'm just illustrating that, uh, that these, these lines and, and arcs and information that you get from the AutoCAD is not dead information. Um, you can, just like we were doing before, you can add, uh, you, can select, you can select different lines and add um, and add uh, constraints just like we did before, just like with any sketch. Okay, so I'm gonna exit that sketch and now it's, um, it's inside your, your part to use however you like. So I'll go ahead and save that. Now, um, the next thing that I want to look at is uh, bringing in 3D information. So um, if you're working in any other like 3D 
software such as Rhino, um, you can save that file out as an IGIS file and then open it up in Digital Project. So I'll go to File Open and um, I'll open up this file that I've created for myself, um, Envelope Whole IGIS, and just click Open. And it's going to recognize that it's a 3D file. Um, it's going to open up a, automatically open up a part file and insert those surfaces into the geometric set. So it kind of does all this work for you. It takes the file, it recognizes, okay, this is an IGES file with 3D information. And <clears throat> so right off the bat, it gives you all these surfaces um, in, uh, in digital project. And you may recognize that the icon has a little red, um, little, little red broken chain. And what that's basically saying is that these surfaces, um, you can use these however you want. Um, but unlike when you build a surface uh, natively in Digital Project, it's not something you can, you can change. You can't, these are kind of what they call datamized surfaces. They're, they're, um, they, they basically exist as they are, just like, like in any other uh, modeling environment. Um, if you were to model these surfaces in Rhino, again, you know, if you wanted to remodel them, you have to go back to the curves and, and remodel the surfaces. So these surfaces are like that. Um, they're not um, parametrically linked to elements. But you can take these and use these to build off curves and, and various um, geometries that you, uh, you want to, to create. So um, uh, there's also, uh, if, you, if you look, there's many other file formats available. Um, if you look in the documentation, uh, again, here's the, here's the digital project documentation, which you can reach by going to the wiki. Um, and you'll have to, to sign on to do that. But if you go to infrastructure translators, um, this art, these articles give you a full list under user tasks and opening documents of various formats. gives you a list of all the for, file formats that you can open within Digital Project. There's a whole slew of, of vector um, and 3D formats um, that are available to open. So you have, uh, you have uh, VRML and you have STL. And, uh, these are all possible formats so you can open. So um, I also want to illustrate that just like you can open these file formats, you can also save many of these, these file formats out. Um, if I, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's say, uh, let's say we want to open up and we want to, to hand a file off to, uh, to someone using um, Rhino, for instance. So I'm going to go to, uh, in this case, my project manager model. And I'm going to go BO1, HL1, level 2, and open up my column part. <coughs> so if we, if we open that up, um, just like with open, uh, you can do a save as, and that save, I, save as gives you many options for, um, for saving out uh, the file. Um, if you go, go up to file, save as, and you pull down the, the file format menu here, you get a whole slew of, of different formats. Um, one here is, is IGIS. So I'm going to save that I just to my desktop. So if I open up Rhino and take a look real quick, so I'm going to go to Rhino here and open up that DXF file or sorry, that I just file I just created. And here we go. 
So here's our uh, 